What if sci-fi movies become real? Science is advancing quite rapidly. The most epic thing, right now, is artificial intelligence. Where do you think science reached by 2030 with the help of AI? What would the world be like then? Surely, it'd be damn exciting. In this video, we'll show you a glimpse of what the world will look like in 2030 with AI. So, watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin. Due to many technological developments, the world in 2030 will be drastically altered. Human-like AI, for example, is likely to become a reality. By the year 2030, computer processing power, speech recognition, image recognition, deep learning, and other software techniques will all advance exponentially. Natural language processing technologies, such as GPT-3, are also regularly updated and improved. Artificial intelligence will most certainly pass the Turing test shortly. This is a test in which a human converses with a machine and asks it a series of questions, and the machine passes the test if it can persuade that person that it is human. This might swiftly evolve to AI-powered virtual assistants capable of carrying on complex discussions with you. Later on, this technology could be applied to virtual world characters in video games. By 2030, 8K virtual reality headsets will be commonplace. The majority of VR screens feature an 8K resolution, which is four times that of 4K screens. When you look to your character models and things up close with these devices, you could see the pixelation, which gave them incredible detail and realism. It has a near zero latency and a large range of views thanks to other VR games. To improve comfort and convenience, several haptic suits will be transformed into electro meshes. By 2030, brain-computer interface devices will be commonplace. Most of your headsets could have a brain-computer interface that records the user's electrical signals and allows them to control actions simply by thinking about them. Non-invasive sensors in headbands and wristbands may become the preferred choice for general brain-computer interface use. However, at this time, the immersive effects given by brain-computer interfaces may be restricted and only applicable in specific scenarios. Nonetheless, it will allow users to engage with virtual persons, objects, and settings in the metaverse in increasingly lifelike ways. The first quantum computers with a million qubits are expected to appear next. IBM and Google expect to be able to develop quantum computers with 1 million qubits by 2030. This breakthrough will change the way we solve optimization challenges. Training a machine learning system can help researchers better comprehend natural physical processes at the subatomic level. Artificial intelligence, financial modeling, medicine development, weather forecasting, and cybersecurity have all been revolutionized in recent years. Fully working quantum computers to be offered to the public as early as 2035, both in the cloud and as physical machines. Then by 2030, 3D printed human organs will be in use. Living biological systems will be built using 3D printing. Layer after layer of cells can be discarded for printing in the exact spot where microscopic precision is required. They also build simple components such as blood vessels and tissues. In addition, in the following decades, it will begin to print relatively simple organs, eventually printing the majority of the 78 organs in the human body. Next, artificial brain implants will be used to recreate memories that have been lost. By 2030, artificial brain implants may be able to reproduce small sections of the brain to repair damage caused by Alzheimer's disease, strokes, or injuries. It also entails the retrieval of memories that have been lost. This is because these devices can imitate natural chemical signals from brain regions such as the hippocampus, which is important in the consolidation of information from short to long-term memory. The device would function by basically replacing injured sections of the brain anticipating which part of the brain should do from microsecond to microsecond, and then allowing brain impulses to be transmitted to places where there was once again. Artificial brain implants will become increasingly successful in replicating complicated functions, integrating into the 2030s and 40s. Next, SpaceX's first crewed Mars mission is supposed to succeed. SpaceX astronauts will launch spacecraft to Mars as early as 2024 to reach Mars by 2025. To get to the planet, they'll employ a SpaceX spacecraft on the super heavy market. They will also bring robots to Mars to conduct tasks, such as producing basic minerals and parts. The spaceship 
would be equipped with methane-based rocket fuel created on Mars and sent back to Earth after landing on Mars. Next, by 2030, the first version of the quantum internet will appear. A quantum internet would convey information by quantum signals rather than radio waves. In 2030, this sort of internet would largely be used to transmit data that could not be hacked or intercepted via traditional techniques. Through cloud-based quantum computing, it may be able to use a personal computer to transmit or access quantum encrypted data. The U.S. Department of Energy has already released a blueprint for a national quantum internet, with prototypes expected to be available by 2030. By 2025, a billion human genomes will have been sequenced. DNA testing will be available to over a billion human genomes around the world, which is around one-eighth of the world's population. The amount of genomic data will remain exabyte scale, about equal to the total video file material on the YouTube website, using artificial intelligence to detect many ailments linked to certain genes, including cognitive impairments, will be easier than ever before. Human brain models, on the other hand, could be attainable as early as 2025. Scanning and mapping a complete human brain down to the neuron may be doable, but it will take much longer. Any creative technique to self-diagnose and treat brain-related diseases is a huge milestone. It could even aid us in non-biological brain augmentation, the control of virtual things, utilizing brain-computer interfaces, and the transfer of memories from humans to machines and machines to humans. Next, by 2030, terabyte internet speeds will be the norm. 6G could be 100 times faster than 5G and download 142 hours of Netflix movies in a second at that speed. It also enables cyberspace to support real-time human thought and action via virtual reality and brain-computer interface devices mounted on the human body. The Internet of Things has the potential to deliver additional orders of magnitude. It wouldn't only link billions of items together, it would link trains and items together. Next, smart grid technologies will expand throughout the developed world. The following are some of the benefits of smart grids. Energy can be transported in both ways to power lines using smart grids. This implies that households and businesses can contribute excess electricity to the grid, ensuring that no energy is wasted. Smart grids will be able to adjust to the intermittent power generated by solar and wind energy sources, making large-scale renewables more feasible. If a faulty transmission line creates a blackout, this smart grid can quickly discover the damaged location, whereas an excuse must be routed to the afflicted area. In the future, there will be less obvious blackouts as a result of this. Next, foldable electronics may become widespread in the future. Printed electronics could become ubiquitous by the mid-2020s, ushering in a new generation of objects and electronics by 2030. They'll be so cheap to make that they'll be used in a wide range of ordinary business and consumer applications. Many once huge or hefty equipment may now be folded and carried as easily as a piece of paper. This may be a vote or 100 posters and incorporates variable TV displays. Foldable cell phones and e-books may also become commonplace. Next, the cost of open-source 3D-printed apparel will be close to nothing. 3D printing will become a common consumer technology, allowing garments to be purchased for a few cents. 3D printing will be 30 times faster than it was in 2014 by the year 2024. There will be a plethora of open-source designs to choose from. By 2026, 100 terabyte hard disks will be commonplace. By 2020, hard drives with a capacity of 50 terabytes will be available. And by 2030, consumers will have access to 100 terabytes. This is possible because of a cutting-edge technique called the heat, assisted magnetic recording, which allows data to be stored in considerably smaller locations. HDDs will begin using many activators at the same time, which will increase storage data reading speeds. Hypersonic missiles will be used by major militaries next. Cruise missiles travel at speeds of 500 to 600 miles per hour when launched. Hypersonic missiles, on the other hand, can reach Mach 5, which is seven times the speed of regular missiles and five times the speed of sound. They're also tough to proclaim with typical effective procedures because they're so rapid. Next, carbon sequestration will be widely used in the future in many countries. Years of research and development went into this. For capturing and eliminating carbon dioxide from the air, a variety of different technologies will be used. The use of artificial trees is one way of carbon sequestration. These artificial trees are hundreds of times more efficient than actual trees at capturing carbon dioxide. 
They are available in a variety of shapes. It can be placed on the sides of freeways and other polluted locations across our cities, where it will have the greatest impact. After carbon dioxide is extracted from the air, its solid form can be used for a variety of purposes, including product manufacturing. After being reused, tremendous care must be taken to ensure that the carbon dioxide is not discharged back into the atmosphere. Next, Small Modular Nuclear Reactors SMNRs, may be the next generation of nuclear reactors to attain broad acceptance. Small Modular Reactors are a new type of nuclear power plant that is smaller, cheaper, safer, and more adaptable. They are especially appealing to poor countries' potential ability to invest tens of billions of dollars on infrastructure because they can be developed at a far cheaper cost than traditional reactors. Small modular reactors allow for capacity additions to be made gradually as part of the overall growth over time. Next, by 2030, several extinct species may be restored so that prehistoric species like woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers can be resurrected. There are three techniques of bringing extinct animals and plants back to life. Cloning is the process of extracting a current copy from preserved tissue. Closely related species are given features of an extinct relative by selective breeding. The DNA of a minor species is altered until it closely resembles that of an extinct species. Extinct species preservation could become a critical aspect of preserving the Earth's ecology in a few decades. Next, the ocean floor will then be mapped in its entirety. Even the moons, Mars, and other planet surfaces are more understood than the seabed. Seabed 2030 is a collaborative initiative between French and Japanese organizations that aims to develop a precise map of the world ocean floor by 2030. Police department vessels are capable of transiting oceanic excursions of millions of square miles while carrying a variety of sensors and other technologies as part of the mission. These spacecraft can explore areas of interest down to the floor of devotion, which is one thousands of miles below the surface using tethered robots. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.